good afternoon all so today let will see the plate tectonic process the first is plate tectonic what is mean by plate tectonic the earth crust is made up of a pieces of rock which is called as plate tectonics earth which is a zigzag puzzle so this zigzag puzzles which is uh, contracted and come to each other the pieces are uh, come together by the sea floor spreading the process which is called as another uh, word is plate tectonics the plate tectonic is the study how the earth crust is shaped by geological forces so numbers of geological forces are inside the earth it realize on the understanding that the crust is divided into large pieces or planets that sit on the molten interior of the planet the theory was formulated in 1960s and 1970s as a new information was obtained about the nature of the ocean floor the earth ancient magnetism the distribution of the volcanoes and earthquakes the flow of heat from the earth interior and the worldwide distribution of the planet and animal fossils this is the general introduction of plate tectonics structure of the earth the interior of the earth divided into layers based on the chemical and physical properties there are three made of three main layers the first is core second is mantle and third is core crust so this is the mantle part of the earth this is the core and it is the inner core and outermost part is crust the earth has outer silica ridge so outer part is the silk silica ridge uh, solid crust it is highly viscous mantle the so mantle is highly viscous material and the core comprising liquid outer core that must have less viscous than the mantle and the solid is inner core inner core is solid and outer core is semi solid these structure of the earth earth crust it is a continental crust which is on continental part and it is the oceanic crust which is on oceanic part the crust there is a life we life outermost layer 5 to 100 km thick made up of oxygen silicon aluminum the crust is made up of oxygen silicon and aluminum the crust is made up of continental crust and oceanic crust the thickness of continental crust is 10 to 70 km by thick and less dense than oceanic crust that is bayon mostly old oceanic crust is approximately 7 km and dense that is the sinks under continental crust that is it is a younger oceanic crust is the younger it is a pangea and it is a the pangea it is hardest part of the earth which is called as pangea and the liquid part of the earth which is called as panthalassa alfred wegener was the german climatologist and arctic explorer was suggested the concept of continental drift continental drift is the idea that continents move around on earth surface and wegener the wegener it is a scientist wegener throughout the continent we know that today and had been part of the earlier supercontinent he called the great landmass is called pangea the movement of continents the surface earth is broken into many pieces like giant zigzag puzzle it is as african plate it is an american it is the north america it is a south europe that plates are binded by sea floor spreading that is the part of sea floor spreading and it is the structure which is called as zigzag puzzle 
The plate tectonic describes how these species move the Earth's surface. Evidences of continental drift. Wagner believes that scientific hypothesis based on observation. Continental drift was expected accept, accepted by all scientists because of there was no evidences at the time of explain how the continent could move. The continent where are moved by North America, South Africa, Africa, the, the Indian part, Indian part, Asia, Europe, and Australia. Both are those continents are moved to each other. Evidence of continental drift. The first evidence cool beds stretch everywhere, eastern United South Africa and continent continue across the south southern Europe. Matching plant fossils are found South America, Africa, India, Australia and Antarctica. Matching reptile fossils are found South America and Africa. Matching early mammals fossils are found South America and Africa. Fossils in South America, Africa and bow in rocks of the identical age of the type. Matching rock types and mountain beds occur in North America and British islands. Also, Africa, South America. Evidences of glaciers are present in regions with warm, dry climates. Continues that close the equator today. Were once closer the South Pole in the distant past. This is the map along with the fossil views. So we are where the animals live the ancient continent. This is the animal lives continental that is the glossopteris it is the large part of leaves this is the acquired area of leaves and granotherus the part which is the most uh, bluish part then lystronoris it is the part of continent and mesosaurus this is the part of mesosaurus both the, these are the saurus it is the part of dinosaur dinosaur region where the fossils around found today so fossil in Indian oceans Antarctic oceans and Pacific portion so where the fossils are found this is the regions of fossil founds sea flow spreading American geophysicist Harry has helped the develop theory of plate tectonics while the Navy officer has helped map of the ocean floor this is the sea flows mid oceanic ridge part and this is the mid oceanic ridges of the equator under sea mountains naval map showed under sea mountain chains that form continuous chain down centers of the ocean floors Hayes wondered if new oceans floor was created at the mid oceanic ridges Harry Hess says that as a new sea floor spreading at the mid oceanic ridges continues push away. This is the mid oceanic region which is the create new sea floor spreading. It is the part of continent continent collision. Sea floor spreading hypothesis has called his hypothesis sea floor spreading as it is the millions of years. We just center is 0 to 6 and here it is 0 to 6 it is the mid oceanic ridges it is the old and it is the young oldest old it is the oldest old and mid middle part is the young the key of discovery that is that there are magnetic patterns in the rocks on the other side of mid oceanic ridges matching magnetic patterns and the age of the rock on either side of the mid oceanic ridges provided strong evidence of sea floor spreading moving pieces of the lithosphere scientists realized that large pieces of earth surface move uh, about earth rafts on river these rafts are pieces of lithosphere called lithospheres continental plate that is the andesite and granite forming rocks oceanic plate most of the basalt the plate tectonics is the study of the lithospheric plate 
there are two kinds of lithospheric plate one is oceanic plate and second is continental plates what drives lithospheric plate it is the part of core it is the mantle part the rising theory of convection current is here which is called as mid oceanic rise the upper region part which is called as lithosphere convection cell in the mantle subduction this is a subduction zone Conver convection cells of earth lower mantle drive the lithosphere plate on the surface heated lower mantle material rises toward earth surface cooling makes nearby material denser and sinks deeper into the lower mantle this sinking process is called subduction hotspot and island chains the single hotspot rising plume called mantle plume it is a hotspot region it can cause volcanic eruption that the plate is the up the if the eruption of strong and last long enough the volcanic eruption may form ice lands on the plate after the ice lands form the movement of the plate carries and it away from the mantle plume scientists determine the direction of speed of the plate movement by measuring these ice lands chains hotspot and ice land chains this is the region of hawaiian hawaiian islands and uh, kawi ahu mokai hawaii mau maul this is a part of hawaiian islands thank you